Hey everyone, the Russian invasion of Ukraine finally kicked off this week with the troops rolling in to capture Chernobyl of all places. It seems like a bit of an odd place to want to capture. It's like if the Chinese launched a war against Japan and their first strategic target was that weird island with all the thousands of cats living on it. Anyway, I guess it makes some sense in a way because it's not like anyone in NATO wants to risk bombing there. It's bad enough when a drone accidentally hits a school or a hospital, let alone striking and restarting a nuclear meltdown. And I suppose the Russian military emblem is a two-headed eagle, so perhaps the military were just wanting to see one of those birds in the wild. Anyway, the newspapers got quickly to work, especially the people who write pun-based headlines for the tabloids. They were Russian to get the jokes of Putin to the banner headlines. Yeah. As for the other papers, the Times and the Telegraph have got some lovely maps on display and the Sunday supplements of some cracking goulash recipes this week. BBC, of course, went their own way. They've got an article about African-American haircuts and whether school dress codes are institutionally racist. And I'm assuming that the Sunday sport has a special report on Ukrainian asylum seekers, although all of the girls featured will be 18-year-old blonde bombshells. Unfortunately, though, in the real world, it's real bombshells at play, and the mayor of Kiev told Red residents to stay safe by going into the subway. Although how a 12-inch sandwich is supposed to help during a war is anyone's guess, that's the wrong type of sub. And what should the West reaction be? You know, it's a moral dilemma. Millions could die, but then a protracted war could push up the price of petrol by 20 pence a litre. Sanctions are, of course, going into effect, and it's been suggested that Russia should be cut out of the swift global bank transaction system, crippling their economy for years. Another response has been to ban Russia from being allowed to compete in the Eurovision Song Contest year, especially after rumours that Vladimir himself was planning to turn up and sing either Don't Stop Me Now or Boom Bang A Bang. It's also been decided that the Champions League final will not be going ahead in St Petersburg as planned, although we're all going to be in a lot of trouble if they choose to play the match in the Sudetenland. There's also talk of removing access to Western internet services like Amazon or Netflix, or as it's called in Russia, Netflix, or possibly Twitter, where as of the time of writing, Vladimir Putin is still a free member. You know, Steve Bannon and Donald Trump, of course, got banned from Twitter for being bad people, but Vladimir Putin is literally trying to launch a third world war, and apparently that's okay. Talk about a war of words, eh? Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.